The paternity suit had been simmering for months, a storm cloud hanging heavy over Scott's head. Years of partying, fleeting romances, and strained co-parenting with Courtney had taken their toll. A seed of doubt, planted by a spiteful comment from a tabloid article, had sprouted into a monstrous insecurity. Rain, his youngest, did look different. Darker hair, a different jawline, a spark in his eyes that Scott couldn't quite place. The results arrived on a Tuesday, a sterile document tucked into a plain envelope. Scott's hands trembled as he ripped it open, the words blurring before his eyes. Negative. Rain wasn't his son. The revelation slammed into him like a physical blow. He reread the sentence, each word a hammer blow to the fragile foundation of his fatherhood. Welcome to Global Icons. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about your favorite celebrities. Panic morphed into a cold fury. He stormed into Courtney's house, the accusation burning on his tongue. You lied to me. All these years. Courtney, ever composed, met his rage with a steely gaze. You were never there, Scott. Not truly. You were a revolving door of rehab and fleeting relationships. Rain needed a father, and I couldn't wait for you to step up. Shame washed over him, a tidal wave of self-loathing. He hadn't been there. He'd been lost in a haze of his own making, the needs of his children an afterthought. The years of playing house, the pretend normalcy, all came crashing down. He retreated, seeking solace in the familiar numbness of a bar. The faces blurred, the laughter echoed hollowly. He was adrift, unmoored from the life he thought he had. The love he felt for Mason and Penelope, genuine and unwavering, was now tainted by the bitter truth. Days turned into weeks, a suffocating silence hanging heavy between him and Courtney. He saw the hurt in her eyes, the unspoken betrayal. He finally reached out, his voice thick with remorse. I was a terrible father, Courtney. I don't deserve them, but I love them. Please let me be there for them, even if. His voice cracked. He couldn't bring himself to say the words, even if he wasn't their biological father. The bond he shared with Mason and Penelope was real, forged in the messy tapestry of their unconventional family. Courtney, her anger tempered by a shared love for their children, offered a fragile truce. They need you, Scott. Not as their father, but as the man they know. But you have to earn their trust back, one step at a time. The path ahead was uncertain, a minefield of apologies, rebuilding trust, and redefining his role in their lives. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.